Hey guys, it's Mark Gillespie from WhiskeyCast and WhiskeyCast.com. November 12th is a very special day around here because it's the anniversary of the very first WhiskeyCast episode and November 12th, 2015 is even more special because this is the 10th anniversary of the very first WhiskeyCast episode. A lot of podcasts have come and gone over the years. There are very few that are still going 10 years after their debut and I think we're pretty much the only one in the whiskey space that is still going after a full 10 years. I want to thank you because this would not have been possible without each and every listener, our sponsors throughout the years, our friends in the industry, and just the people who email on a regular basis to say thank you for helping us learn more about whiskey. I thought it might be fun to do something special, or at least do a toast uh, tonight to celebrate the, 12th, the 10th anniversary of Whiskey Cast. And I had folks asking, what dram are you going to have? I went looking through the cupboard for something that I hadn't found in a while, and I found something. I could have picked any single malt, any Irish whiskey, any Canadian whiskey, any bourbon, but I wanted to pick something that had a little bit of meaning to me. My very first distillery visit in Scotland was to Royal Loch Nagar in 2010 for the uh, Diageo Malt Advocates course that was led by Donald Rennick, the uh, now retired distillery manager at Loch Nagar. And he let us pick out cask samples from some of the old casks at the distillery that were there ex exclusively for the course so that uh, we could nose them and identify them and learn more about them. He was kind enough and gracious enough to let me keep this sample of a 1976 Milburn single cask. Uh, Milburn, it's actually quite appropriate because that distillery closed 30 years ago this year in 1985. This is from a 1976 cask and I don't even know the ABV on it. I'm not even going to worry about it, but I am going to pour the last of this dram. I don't know how much is left if that cask still exists at Royal Loch Nagar. I don't know what's left, but this is all I have of it, and to each and every one of you, I hope you'll join me in raising a glass tonight to 10 years of cast strength conversation and 10 years more. Slanjavah.